Hey guys, what's going on? This is Dang up here, and it looks like I am going to be showing you the new update, uh, 1.3 for Minecraft. All right, first up is the creative uh, new inventory. It looks like you can go through blocks, um, flowers, redstone stuff like that. You can go through eggs and everything, food stuff for your food items, tools. You know, it, it looks looks freaking cool. You have all your potions now. That's nice. That's always nice for that. Um, when you go to your survival inventory, you have your armor and everything. You can have blocks in it. You can just always switch to it if you pick up like stuff you didn't want to, and then you can always destroy it. You can also search items, uh, just like um, I'm going to search saplings right now. And yeah, I think it's a pretty good feature, to me at least. Yeah, You can always build stuff with it like that. Alright, next up is cocoa beans. Um, you can always... Well, these are new, obviously, in the new update. Um, so, these are cocoa beans. Uh, what would I say about this? Oh, yeah. You can plant them on trees. And um, the bigger ones would give you more because those are the ones that's already fully grown. And then the small ones, um, you can. those are like the little baby ones trying to grow up. And But you can still get them. You only get one. These are always naturally glowing. They spawn frequently. And you can always plant them back and start your own little cocoa bean farm of awesomeness and then you can break it get it back again and go venture somewhere else next is gravel yeah they change the texture I guess everyone hated it and wanted to change it I mean I don't really care about the old one or the new one they all look fine to me but yeah gravel yeah alright what's next come on come on what's next alright next is the um, new menu it looks like uh, lots of features came up um, this is a uh, chat you can always hide it shown I don't know it's hidden now I, I'm doing a commentary over this so I never actually did it you can always do turn web, web links on or off it would uh it uh it uh yeah prom links on and off if there's a link in the chat you can always turn it off if you don't want it there I guess <laughs> colors off and on and then opacity that's actually kind of new I think I'll actually use opacity in some of my recordings and yeah and you can obviously tell there was a cut there because I obviously had it hidden. So, yeah, there. <laughs> Fail. Yep. I obviously failed there. <laughs> so the op opacity is on 50%, as you can see. That would be actually a little useful. That would be useful. So, yeah, you can, set, you can see it's 50%, and then none, and then all the way to the top. So, yeah, you can always turn it off and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Alright, next is when you create a new world, everything's new until you go to more world options. I mean, everything's normal until you go to more world. And then you have allowed cheats on and off to pretty much single player commands. Bonus chests, we will get to that soon. And um, world type, there is a new one called uh, large biomes. So let's go look for a seed, just for an example. Let's see. Cows? Yes. Cows. With a period. There you go. And then cut <laughs> yeah I uh stopped recording I had to figure out how to spell this god I suck at typing lactose intolerant cows have you heard of that before no I haven't either so let's create that new world <laughs> all right now we're back here and next is the teep the tele tap tap teleporting feature you can teleport to a coordinate and it would take you to the abliss oblivion of oblivionness. I'm just kidding. The chunks were just loading for me. And I ended up in a cave. I started freaking out and I didn't even know what was going on. I apparently put my uh, Y, I think. X, Y, Z. Yeah, my Y pretty low. So I'm in a cave. I just saw gravel peering on. I'm like, what's going on and stuff? So yeah, I started freaking out at that moment when I first did that. So yeah. Oh, right, we're back. Um, sorry about that. I had to uh, cut it out because apparently this part right now I'm going to talk about is uh, didn't render right. All right, so this is the ender chest. Obviously, you know how to make it right there. And what ender chests do, it is, like, really useful if something, like, probably I think you can use it in the nether if you need stuff from your home chest or something. So you can put, like, your stuff into your ender chest go to the nether or something and get your stuff from there. I, I think you can do it from the nether, but you can do it from like minecart tracks if you're like going from one place to another and you need something, just put it in there. So yeah, so 
when you put it in the chest, it goes to the other, it would stay in there, so, in this video you can see the example, so, yeah, yep. Next is, uh, another chest, it's called, uh, a bonus chest, and these randomly appear around the map, and they give you lots of useful stuff if you're probably beginning, or maybe just, like, halfway in there, it'll, it'll give you useful stuff, I swear. And then you just go back and then punch a freaking chicken! Next, alright, this is pretty cool, it's a tripwire. Um, I forgot to add the recipe, but you, I think I'll just add a recipe picture in there. So yeah, I'm gonna build a little trap there, and uh-huh, 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 yes, yes, come on, come on, come on. Oh, a little mess up there, you can also put um string above the tripwire. So, let's watch me build. Alright, looks like we're done. And, uh, yeah. You obviously you can set a trap like TNT, or you can do that when you go over, or be like a flash on, flash off, something like that. I don't know, I haven't messed with this too much. But another thing is, uh, a lever. You can, um, put levers upside down now. It's pretty useful, as you can see. Or you can pretend to be a freaking DJ. Watch this. Down, 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 DJ, DJ, DJ. That's not a DJ, is it? It's just levers upside down. Well, you can connect redstone to it, like glowstone. And if I figure out how to turn it off, because it does work, obviously. I just wasn't thinking, I guess. So, yeah. This place. I think, yeah, whatever's, <laughs> God, I am bad at this voiceover stuff. All right, next. And all right, again, another recording mess up. I am professional. All right, next is a book. This is a new recipe for it. I, it does make sense, but I prefer the last recipe better because it is a lot better. All right, so you can now make a book and quill. You can write in it. It's obviously writable. So, let's take a look into that. Come on, come on, go take a look in the freaking book and quill. Do it. There we go. Alright, so in the book, you can obviously write stuff and edit it. So, I'm gonna write my, uh, to a friend called Dear Faggot. It's, uh, he's my very dear friend. Not my imaginary friend or anything. <laughs> what are you talking about? What? Okay. You, you. I, I think Faggot's... <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, so. Love. Love, obviously, the person. Obviously, it's the person they love. It's obviously the person. I think I messed up a <laughs> bit. But I don't care. Let's just keep doing this. The bananas and stuff. You can go, I think you can have as many pages as you can. As, as you can. <laughs> yep. I think. And then, so I signed the book. Um, so, okay, okay. When you're done, you can, it, the quill image is still there, so you can obviously edit it, give it to your friend or edit it. They could obviously troll you and sign it when you don't have a finished book, so be aware of that. Um, so I should sign it eventually, right here. Alright, yeah. When I sign it, it says, nope. When you sign the book, it will no longer be editable, and it will turn into the book We'll turn the book into this awesome enchanted looking thing. Freaking cool. Alright, give it to your friends and stuff, but I don't have any friends. <laughs> Alright, next is the, uh, obviously I made a cut right there. Next is the um, game modes. There's now uh, three game modes. You can go to survival, it's regular survival, you can break things, do whatever you survival in want. See. Yeah, everyone knows what survival is. Why am I even showing that? Okay, then there's game mode one. It's creative. Everyone knows that. It goes in creative menu. You can do all your little things, build everything, the, the thing. And then next is the adventure mode. It is very useful for adventure maps if you're... Um, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. You can't break any blocks except redstone and chests and um, crafting. And I'm pretty sure you can do it... Yeah, 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 you can do it on everything. Like anything that's openable or usable, like redstone. I just, I'm, I'm just re saying what I just did. Alright, next is the new wood. Shut up. 
Okay. That wasn't a pervy joke. Alright, so these stairs are now what um, what their base is. So if you build a birch staircase, it'll become a birch uh, stair. And now same st sandstone and same with half blocks. So I'll show a little example here. Bam, bam, bam. Menu. Get the right one and place it down. Um, next is the log. You can now place it sideways, which is freaking cool. So yeah. Looks looks kind of weird. I, I was like, at this moment when I was recording this, I was like freaking shocked and stuff. Oh, you can use it for floor decoration. And uh, you can make trees look retarded, like I did. Look at that. Look at that retarded tree. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, God. Look at that. Just look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh, my God. Tear it over. Tear it down. Why did I say tear it over? Because English. Bam. Okay. And I think that's all I show for this one. Nope. Looks like I think I got one more. Oh, yeah. When you use half steps, you can now, if you put it on the bottom part of the log, it would go on the bottom. And if you put it on the top part of the log, it would, not the log, any block really, um, it would go there. So it wouldn't be all, you won't be stressed out of where to put the half block anymore, because I, I was certainly was when I make houses all the time. So I, I'm glad this is here. But it does have some glitches since it is, it, since it just came out, it does have some bugs. Alright, next is the dispenser when you can dispense boats and minecarts now, so when it's next to water you can put boats in there. That's pretty cool, right? Have like, I don't I don't know how it works, I guess you can put in a bigger lake. People can obviously do it better than me. And then you can dispense uh, minecarts. So yeah, do that. And there you go, there's a minecart. You can obviously do that for like adventure maps if you want to, like, like step on this enjoy your ride. Yeah. I think it's better than pressing the button or something. I don't know. Just, I don't know. Alright, next should be soon. Alright, next is the buckets. You can now stack them. It's pretty cool. But you can't get water in, uh, in creative. Because it would just go to your regular water bucket that you already have. Now, see? As you can tell, you can, you can pick it up, but it just wouldn't go into your bucket. Just... Apparently there's a freaking hole in the bottom of your bucket and you can't pick it up. So, yeah. 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 Alright, I think I switched to survival mode eventually. E there you go. There you go. Come on. Come on, buddy. Game mode 1. Zero. Okay. Now I'm survival mode and you can pick up the bucket. And, yep. Place it back. Everything's good. And if you pick it up with the stack, it'll just make more. As you can see in the inventory. All right, next should be soon in three, two, one, zero, negative one, negative, come on, just go, okay, here we go, next is, um, yeah, trading with villagers, obviously you can put them trapped in there and stuff, so if you give them stuff like that, it'll give you what they offer, it's, I think it's freaking awesome, but emeralds are hard to find. You can find, like, diamond. I think you can find diamond easier than emeralds. But when I... Yeah. So, they have two now. I, I don't think that was in the snapshot. But they now have, like, you can put, like, two together and have one. So, yeah. I guess we can have some more footage of this. <laughs> Heck yeah. So you give that, and you get the iron sword. I, pretty good sword. I say it for a uh, single player. 13 coal for one piece of emerald. See, that's... But I say cheap or expensive on that. I think I'd say a little expensive. But I think if you put more... Um, what was it? It was more... Uh, more... Ah, I don't know. The, the money, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But it's just like like a really long footage of me doing this with the freaking villagers. So, oh yeah, this is where I show up. So you see, if you give them more, they'll give you like each stack like that. 
that's kind of cool. I got 36 bread out of that. That was pretty nice. Pretty nice. And they do follow you. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, what is that? I guess you get like half of what it is when you put it in the second slot. I don't know. I just... I'm just going off this recording. I just recorded. So, yeah. They tend to follow you. I think I noticed this after a while, after I started getting crap. Oh, yeah. Diamond sword. Heck, yeah. Diamond sword. Come on. Alright, I think... Okay, this is part... Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're just going through all of them. Okay, also when you spawn them, they spawn in. Dang it! <laughs> it didn't show me, like, walking around. Okay, obviously this is when I, uh... Found an emerald. I was just going in creative, digging down to a cave, and I found it. And I obviously picked it. So you can't break it with a wooden or stone pick. You can break it with, um diamond and iron and obviously I got some experience out of that because if you break an ore and it, all, and it comes out with the item you get experience but for um, gold and iron you don't do that because you don't you just get the ore and you just like constantly give it XP so that was, I, that was pretty smart but kind of obvious obvious smart so for like coal redstone lapis um, diamond I think that's it I don't know if I'm missing something <laughs> but you get experience from those ores see up to that iron, get that iron, get it, see I didn't get any experience from it, and it, also you can get experience from smelting, so when you shift it into your inventory you would get, you know, XP, that's nice, you can XP faster instead of freaking killing mobs and animals. Right next is the emerald block, which is freaking cool, I think so, I think it's freaking cool, I think my recording just stopped. But, uh, it's freaking cool. I can see people using it for, um, house decorations and creative, because if you have freaking emerald blocks that you are freaking rich, that's freaking freaking freaking, because I say freaking a lot. Alright, I think this recording's gonna end, but, yep, it did end, but, thanks for watching, guys. Um, there's a lot more updates, and when I mean a lot, I mean a lot. Lots of multiplayer. You can see the enchantments now on your armor, like you're glowing and stuff, you would see that in one of the cool future Cool Creeper episodes. Um, speaking of Cool Creepers, you and other stuff, you can go check out my channel. Um, this was a fail, I'd say. I just tried to make an update video and it wasn't coming out as planned. This is pretty rough on the um, recording. And this is just a footage of me going around and uh, doing stuff. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, i going to say to subscribe, <laughs> rate, and, uh, yeah, this is, like, a, a recording after the first one you just heard. So, my microphone's been bad for, like, the second part, and I, this is my first voiceover ever, so, slack, please, <laughs> just... A comment, rate, subscribe would be nice. I know I'm saying it a lot, but still. Check out my other series. They're good. My favorite series out of all of them is uh, probably Cool Creepers version 1 and 2. Actually, just version 2 because version 1 sucks. Bad, because I lag a lot. So, uh, yeah. Do the... Subs subscribe, please. Just... <laughs>